March is the month of huge shifts and changes of outer planets and new beginnings. And as a collective and on a personal level, level for you, Libra, with all planets direct, this allows for a flow of new projects, activities. This means that now is your best opportunity to put out into the universe what do you want to create. The tides are flowing out and they're offering you new chances to initiate, start, or begin things. The flow is working with you to manifest your future. This is an open period of time until April 7th that is free of retrograde grades and of eclipses. What you need to know for your March horoscope. Hi, I'm Patricia Tate with willowgracemystic.com and this is your astrology forecast for March 2023, Libra Sun and Libra Rising. Now the overall energy of the first half of the month of March is Piscean. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac and it represents the culmination of every other sign's karmic evolution. The energy is often dreamy, glamorous, and otherworldly. It's all about dissolving and breaking down the barriers between people, reality, and dreams. So at this time, you are invited to dream, imagine, and create. For you, this is in your um, sixth house of your daily work, your service to others, pets, your mental, physical, spiritual health, and well-being. This is a beautiful house of finding balance between home and work. Now, on March 2nd, Mercury is going to be the first to enter Pisces. So Pisces being an intuitive and imaginative, expect your imagination to become very strong over the coming weeks. Take this time to focus on your hobbies, these creative projects. Mercury can have you focusing on several topics all at once, so leave time to focus and reflect on where your energy is best spent. Your mental energy can be disciplined and focused, and you can work on long-term plans for your goals. You can pay attention to the details and make use of your practical outlook of what you want to do for service to others and how do you find a balance between home and work and your mental, physical, spiritual well-being. Next on March 7th, the timekeeper planet of Saturn is going to move into Pisces. This is huge because on a personal level and for the collective, Saturn has been in the sign of Aquarius. And for you, that has been your fifth house of fun, romance, children for the past few years. And this is part of the changing of the guards, the outer planets shifting. So looking back, if Saturn and Aquarius was strong power of concentration and practicality, Moving forward, Saturn and Pisces means that you may need to work on being more reflective, more understanding of your past, to be more introspective and understanding yourself, to be more compassionate and understanding of others, to do this all in a healthy and responsible way. It is spirituality that is grounded with practical idealism. We're going to lean towards being contemplative, purposeful, and grounded. And on the same day, March 7th, we're going to have this full moon in Virgo. Now, full moons, they reveal areas that were hidden, and Virgo wants you to have lists and be organized and structured. So this full moon is going to reveal things that need that you need for getting projects and tasks completed um, and for yourself that you need to follow through with. This full moon is a time of culmination and a promise of which was started at the new moon, and you may find power in routine and self-care. And for you, this is your 12th house. Did you say that you were going to have a balance between home and work? Are you taking time to exercise? Are you taking time to meditate? Are you doing the yoga? Are you paying attention to your dreams? Are you setting yourself up so that you can balance your fears with your dreams? And then on March 16th, Venus, the planet of love and romance, moves into the very comfortable, relaxed, stable sign of Taurus. She is very comfortable here. Your feelings of love and romance that you feel for others, they're now going to take on a very grounded and earthy quality. So at this time, you may feel more sensual and the desire strong physical connections in the areas of love and romance. You may also be less motivated to act quickly and preferring to enjoy life at a slower pace. Now, this part of the month is where the energy is going to uh, switch from watery to fire, passion, drive, because it's switching into Aries. It's our drive, our thrust. This is now you ready to ignite and dive into something new. Now, Mercury is the first one. This is in your seventh house of partnerships, relationships. This is your one-on-one -on -one connection with others. It is your one plus one house. It is also you with a client, you with a best friend. This is also you with open enemies. 
Now, Mercury on March 19th is the first one that shifts into this and it rules your thoughts, travel, communication, and ideas. So your mind's gonna be very active and your ideas and plans for are gonna be flowing freely. So take the initiative to make things happen in your seventh house of partnership. And then on March 20th, the sun is now gonna join up here. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So this is the zodiacal new year. You are full of energy, passion, drive, enthusiasm with partnership. This is with clients or with your one-on-one -on -one significant other. So expect your excitement to be high. You are now feeling motivated and driven. This is going to be a time for you to focus on what you are now motivated to take action with. You can take the initiative and you can charge forward. And the very next day on March 21st, the moon joins up with the sun and you're gonna have this new moon in Aries, seventh house, partnerships, relationships, your clients, your contracts, your one-on-one. -on -one. New moons, they're times to initiate, to focus on these new beginnings, these new adventures, these new journeys. This is taking a leap of faith. You can feel excited about what is possible and feel ready to get moving. Your energy continues to be high and your focus is on what you wanna get started with quickly right now. And then on March 23rd, Pluto is gonna enter Aquarius. This is huge as a collective and for you on a personal level, as Pluto has been in Capricorn for over a decade. So this is again, part of the changing of the guards, the outer planets shifting into new signs. Pluto in Aquarius means that we are more passionate about the future and change can be prolific and long lasting for all of us, but we need to make sure that we are transforming for the better of all and not for the few. Aquarius is for the people. And on March 24th, Fifth, Mars enters Cancer. Mars is finally leaving Gemini after an exhausting and extended stay and now moves into the sensitive sign of Cancer where you're gonna have more energy, more drive for matters that involve your home and your family and you're gonna be able to start these new projects and plans from the ground up and you're gonna have uh, the ability to work to have a stronger foundation and this for you is in your 10th house of career. What do you wanna start? How do you wanna be known? Your, your circles, your goals, Goals, your public life, how people will see you in the outside world. So I'd love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. To hear updates as soon as they are released, please subscribe.